Welcome back everyone. In this demo, we will see how we can access the values from the Excel file. Now before I begin, let's go back quickly to our Excel sheet and let's go to our sheet number one. We have two columns and eight rows. So we can basically in our Python file target any of this shell individually or in a group or whichever way we like and extract this value in our Python program. I have pre-populated two lines. I have created my workbook object and selected the sheet one. So it's ready to go. If you have any question regarding selecting workbook or worksheet, please go to my first tutorial and you will see how those two things work. Let's say I wanted to select this 1400 value. Now I'm using here a uh, LibreOffice. It's open source Excel editor. Uh, you might be using other software, probably Microsoft Excel or any other open source software out there. In any Excel editor, we will have two important things to understand. First, all this A, B, C, D, E, F, right? This will go all the way till Z, Z. These are called column and this horizontal lines one, two, three, four, five, all the way till I don't remember exact value. Um, those are called rows. Any particular location in this Excel sheet, we can point that out using column row number. We can address any of the cell using the column row. So for instance, there is one value in this cell. Location for this cell will be it's in column D and row number five. So location for this cell is d5 let's see any somewhere else here this cell location is column g and row number 11 so the address for this cell is g11 the similar way i wanted to target 1400 particularly so address for this is column b and row 5 i can go back to my python file here and simply target that cell using the w as uh, the worksheet object and in here I can pass the address of my value and again uh, let's print that first now this will not give us what we want and if I run this file it's giving me location of that actual file okay but we don't want location we want to extract a value of that cell so to do that we need to pass another command called dot value now if I rerun my python file there we go we can see 1400 here now this 1400 is coming out of this location so here we need to use the worksheet object pass the location of the cell and we have to put dot value to extract the cell uh, there is another way we can do that so we can use the integer format basically we can count our column and rows as well so this is a first column second column third column and so on similar way this is first row second row and third row and so on another method is to use cell method we will need to pass row and column number uh, let's go back to our excel sheet and say i want to extract this robin so robin it's in first column and a sixth row so i can pass it here row number six and column number is equal to one and again we need to pass a value if you want to see this in a console we need to add that inside the print statement rerun our program if i rerun that i can see robin here right this 1400 is coming out of this sixth line and this robin is we extracted successfully using this row and column format now there is another option we can also extract particular range of values so let's say we want to extract first two column and five row we want to extract start from a john his balance bob his balance and so on till the team and his balance to do that we simply need to pass the cell location using the column so here we want to start at a john so john is in a2 location and it needs to end at this b5 pass that in here again the syntax is we have to use worksheet and in square bracket pass the starting cell first cell and the ending cell we can save that in a variable and let's print this value range Wow, if you can see in here, it's returning nested tuples with cell location. Now, this is expected because uh, we have seen that in here to extract a value, we need to use dot value method. But in here, if I use dot value here and rerun my program again, 
it will throw an error tuple object has no attribute value the reason for this is because this is a nested tuple so we need to unpack this nested tuple to extract the value for each component to do that we can simply use for loop so i'll remove this here few things and now you can see here in big tuple let me copy this here so we can see it better let me break this down real quick all right this big tuple has four smaller tuples and each tuple has two values okay so we need to specifically target this two values and run dot value method on each of that and extract the value so we need to uh, run this in a using a for loop and extract value for each cell to do that let me comment this out we can use for loop so i will use tuple unpacking here for a and b in value range what this will do is for each tuple it will give me a and b separately here i can do that in multiple for loop or nested for loop but i uh, python provide very easy tuple unpacking so we can do that directly so this will go as a and this will go as a b okay in here i can simply say print a dot value and b dot value now let's rerun our program and there you go here you can see we got john his balance bob his balance king his balance tim and his balance we started from this a2 shell and we get value all the way till around this 1400 you can see that here in our python program that's how we can target particular range of values using python thank you everyone and i'll see you in the next demo